Hi, it's Mary Jo. I'm just coming to encourage you through scripture. And today I want to talk about two words, disciple and discipline. If you notice how similar they are, and I encourage you to get a piece of paper out and write disciple and go to the dictionary, write out the, de the definition, and then look up discipline and write it out on paper. Um, we c in order to be his disciples, we must be disciplined. And we tend to think that if we ask Jesus into our heart, that he is automatically going to just come and pull us out of situations that we shouldn't be in or stop us from doing things. He sends the Holy Spirit to guide us and direct us, but it's our choosing, our choice to discipline ourselves. We must discipline ourselves in order to stay it you know, according to what God um, leads and shows us. It's, if you turn with me to, um, I mean, just like when he, when Jesus went to get all the disciples, what did he say? Follow me. He will lead. Jesus will lead, but we must follow him. And the disciples dropped what they were doing and they followed him. And yes, we get off track. We're human. We're, you know, we're flesh and we're spirit. And our flesh will lead us off track. That doesn't mean just to keep going that way. It's okay. You can go back. Just ask God for forgiveness. See what you've done wrong. Turn to the Word, and go get back on the right track. And just and you know you learn. You learn from what happened, and it will more than likely not happen again. Some of us have certain issues that we keep going around and around the merry-go-round, um, and our weaknesses. But you learn as you go. And then you are able to help others that are have the same weakness as you. You know, and that's what, you know, the Bible says that we go through things to help others. But if you turn with me to John 21, I just want to encourage you because we look at other believers and we say, why are why are they doing that? And it seems to be okay. And and you know, we try to look at other people, but God says you know, it's a personal relationship, and every everything's different for each person. And this is where um, Peter is one to ask, "What about him?" Or, you know, he was looking at John and said, "What about him?" And Jesus said, in verse twenty-two, "If I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? You must follow me. We have to get our eyes off of all of those around us." Some of us tend to look at people in the church and um, at, for guidance. Yes, we are to have um, godly wisdom from you know people that are, are in the Word and can help you. But our ultimate decisions come from God. We must follow Him and what He says and what He lays on our heart. So I just want to encourage you today to discipline yourself, um, whatever it is that's um, bringing you down uh, tonight when you go to dinner and the waitress asks would you like dessert and if that's a weakness of yours discipline yourself and say no oh, thank you and give it to God and just say thank you God for um, uh, get helping me with my self-control over this issue whether if, uh, it's Friday night tonight um, those that have the urge to go out and party or drink Think of something else right now that you can do and ask God for um, guidance and help and something fun. I mean, you don't have to lead a boring life just because you don't go out and parties, drink, smoke, and do drugs. It's your choice, your decision, but Jesus said, follow him. We think uh, if you go into a party and think, oh, there's, you know, I'm not these people aren't going to be doing anything wrong. So you go there just to have fun, and then you get in there, and they're smoking and drinking, and you say, oh, God will leave me out. He's here with me. No, God doesn't go into places where he is not wanted. So stay with God, follow him, and stay on his path. God bless.